So I'm back with some more bed talk, y'all. So anyway, since we were, we're talking about, you know, a lot of this stuff about these celebrities and all that, let's like keep it a buck. Let's bring it all back. We, we talking about black men. And I want black, I want y'all to listen to me. Maybe y'all listen to me while I'm lying down because maybe then I won't seem so threatening. But anyway, jokey joke. But actually, it's, it's grounded in a lot of truth. But, you know, all of this stuff with, every time you turn around, it's a black celebrity, it's a black man, and all of that. I'm going to tell you how to, I'm going to give you a free tip. I'm going to tell you how to deal with this karma. I'm going to tell you how to clean this karma. And some of y'all, you're going to still think that you you don't even have to clean this karma, but baby, you're going to have to clean this karma. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how to deal with this. The, the secret to dealing with what's going on and bringing the bringing down of quote unquote black men, but it's not even black men in general that was leading the way is you Gen X black men. And Gen X black men, I have a lot of um grace for you because I'm a Gen X black woman. I know what it was like growing up in that time. You know what I mean? So like I know what it was like for people that was raised by the streets that during that time, like Pluto and Libra, you didn't have your parents. Even if when you had your parents, they had to work hard as hell and they wasn't really able to give you care and direction. And a lot of them didn't even know. Like they didn't get care and direction from their parents and so on and so on, right? So I know what it was like growing up in the city. I know what it was like growing up in the hood. I know that a lot of black men turned to the streets to get their education, to get their care, to get their camaraderie, to get their family, and to get their father, their father figures from the streets, right? You get grace for that. And I'm gonna tell you about this beautiful thing called grace because it does exist and you do get plenty of it, right? You get grace. There are things you get grace, but grace is not to be acquired without doing the work, the consistent work to earn your grace, right? To to show that you are, um, what do you call it? Grateful for your grace. You know what I mean? It's deeper than that, right? So the secret, because what's really going on is these people that are coming up now and they're wanting justice, they're they're first of all they wanted to be paid because a lot of a lot of this stuff a lot of these things that are coming up about what happened in the industry it's the sex workers y'all that's coming up if you don't see it's the sex workers coming up because they didn't sign up for this they didn't get paid you got paid a lot of y'all came out with millions and even some came out as billionaires and all this other stuff and at minimum these women took a beating and they didn't get paid you know what I mean? So you you got a, a, a sex worker that didn't get paid. They have to collect at one point in their lives. They need to get paid. So that's that's what we're seeing. So that's here, neither here nor there. But the avenue, the effective avenue amongst our community is gossip and slander. So what is the antidote to gossip and slander? Transparency. So it's time for you brothers to get up and start telling those stories and to start being transparent, right? I'm, I haven't even gotten to honestly transparent. I'm just starting with transparent, right? So the key is you see in these women, you see in like Jaguar, right? Telling stories, even though all of them may not be true. And you see these other people getting up, telling their stories. It's time for you to get up and tell your story and to be transparent about what you saw, about what you did, about why you did it and about where you're going now, right? Because if you don't be transparent, 
and you don't share these stories. See, all of y'all, y'all had the nerve to do something. You know what you had the nerve to do? Start blogs, which are supposed to be vehicles of transparency. Podcasts, sorry. You started podcasting. But y'all wanted to talk about all types of bullshit that really didn't matter. You wanted to tell stories, you know, and talk about the industry, talk about other people, but not talk real talk. When you evoke the spirit of podcasts, you are evoking the spirit of truth. So you took a podcast and it became a vehicle to, you know, talk about other people. But not let it be a vehicle to talk about your experience for real, for real, and what you really went through and what you really learned from it so that you could pass on it to teach to others, right? So therefore, you started a whole gossip swarm, gossip swarms, and gossip leads to slander, slander leads to tearing down. Now you want to cry and you want to tell your side of the story, right? Once you get in trouble. But why let it get that far, bros? Why let it get that far? So the secret to the lesson in this and the secret to ending this karma and starting a new chapter and a new beginning is absolute transparency and honesty. And starting your journey towards changing that. Because Pisces, the Piscean way is going, right? The Pisces age, the age of Pisces, that was already fading out. You got a little taste of it. Now we're in the age of Aquarius, which is enlightenment and truth in equal playing fields, in evolution. We're in a different place. So this message is for you. It's time to start being transparent about what happened and your role in it and where you're going and how you wanna change it. 